folks, I'm Ian Baker, and today we're going to go over the 2019 Coleman Lantern 286RK. This is a rear kitchen couples model. You have the big super slide over here, which helps open up this main living space as well as give you plenty of room here in the kitchen. Let's start off on the door side right here. One of the things you'll notice right away is the big window letting in a ton of natural light and giving you a great view out to your campsite. Directly underneath that, you have two chairs here. Both of these are swivel rockers, so you can swivel around, easy to have conversation with people on the sofa or over in the dinette if you are entertaining guests. You'll also see right here in the center, you have the end table, a little bit of storage underneath there. You have the cubby hole, and then right up above is an electrical outlet as well as dual USB ports. Up above that, you have an LED light here in case you want to do some reading at night. Storage all along the top. Cubby hole here in the center. It's a great place. You want to put some decorations in there. As far as storage size, I'll open that up so you can kind of get an idea. And again, you have storage on both sides of that cubby hole. Stepping back into the kitchen. As this is a rear kitchen, you'll see you have plenty of countertop space. Excellent prep space right here. I love that. Uh, it's also a seamless countertop. It's a thermal foil countertop, which that way, you know, right around these bends right here, it's not like a T-mold where it'll pop out. It also allows for an undermount sink, which you can see here. Double bowl sink, larger on the left, smaller on the right, and then you have the high-rise faucet there as well. Right behind that on the wall, you'll see this wall board. It kind of has like a gray subway tile look to it. Uh, you'll also notice you have two electrical outlets built into the wall. I like having the wall rather than underneath cupboards. That way, you know, if you put a coffee maker here, you don't have a cord hanging down. It's just a little, uh, little nicer look. You also have a window there, again, to let in some natural light as you're washing dishes. Storage up top, this is a little bit deeper than what we had above the two sofas. You'll see that runs all the way across the top here, and then again, a cubby hole right over to the side. Also up top is your microwave. Underneath that is your hood with both a light and a fan. And then as you would expect, underneath your hood is your cooktop. This is a recessed cooktop with the glass cover. Three burners on there. You just fold this up and back. Kind of doubles as a backsplash there. It'll give you access to those burners. You'll see the knobs here do light up. You can turn it off if you so desire, but it does give it a nice look. And then you can drop that down uh, in order to access the oven. Underneath that, you have a big storage area. You can take a look right here. You'll see how deep that is. Great for pots and pans. Underneath the sink, you sacrifice a little. You'll see you know, not a whole lot there. You might be able to slide some items in there. More than anything, though, it'll probably just be used for access to your pea trap. And then you'll see three drawers right over here. The top one isn't quite as deep as the bottom two, so this is probably good for some of your flatware. Right underneath that, you'll see these two drawers are much deeper. Also, in the front of the countertop, right up here, you'll see a big cubby hole there as well. So, another big storage area. You know, again, not quite sure what you, uh, you want to put in there, but if you have some larger items, it's a great spot for it. And also, check out the size of this one. So, again, you have a ton of big storage areas in here, which is pretty nice. Right above that is your fridge-freezer combo. It is a Nor Cold unit. Open that up for you so you can take a look. Plenty of space in there. This unit does run off both propane and electric. It also has automatic switch over. Storage right up top there. And a pantry right over here to the side. Uh, you do have to be a little careful because of the, the way the, um, the outside is on this slide right here, the fascia. The door can't quite open all the way, but it is still big enough that it allows you to access items, assuming that they can fit between this space right here. But it is a perfect pantry for a lot of your food items, like you know, your box of graham crackers or cereal, Pop-Tarts, whatever else you're going to bring camping with you, canned goods, it's a good spot for it. Right over here to this side is our super slide. The first thing I want to talk about when it comes to slide are the slide heights in the Coleman. If you take a look, I'm six foot. You can see I can just sneak underneath here. My head's kind of rubbing on the top of the slide there. But that's a pretty big deal. A lot of times they're, you know, a couple inches shorter. Sometimes when you get up from the couch, you'll hit your head on the top of the slide. You generally don't have to worry about that in the lantern unless course you're a really tall person two big windows right here again to let in natural light uh, big windows a lot of times they'll put storage uh, you know above either the dinette or the sofa they didn't do either here which I uh, personally like because you have a lot of storage in the kitchen dinette right down underneath plenty of room for four people to sit here quite easily you can see the accent light control for that's on the wall if you want to turn that off this does drop down into a bed as well. You just remove these legs right here. The table will sit along these rails. You'll take those back cushions, throw them right on top. That will create that sleeping space. It is six foot long. So again, if you're taller than that, you'll probably have to curl up a little bit if you have any guests sleeping on the dinette. 
Right next to the dinette is your jackknife sofa. Great thing about a jackknife is you have plenty of storage underneath there. It is quite easy to access. You have this door you can drop down as well. Uh, also, the, this does fold down into a bed. Now, this one is about five and a half foot long, a little bit longer. You have a little bit of space there. Um, but, you know, again, if you're a taller person, probably not the best bed for you, but it is great for smaller children. You also have removable armrests right here, and this drops down in the center with some cup holders right there. Kind of creates like a pseudo theater seating. Excellent for conversation. If you have people in the chairs right here, have people in the sofas, again, all four people can sit here and uh, talk. Great for a uh, couple couples. <laughs> right over here on the wall, you'll see that uh, th this is where your uh, backer will be for the TV. So if you want a TV, that's where you'll put it. I like that you have a big opening right here. It does allow for some larger TVs. A lot of times, you know, they'll frame it off to try to put storage on the side, which isn't super usable anyway, and it limits the size of TV you can have, but that's obviously not the case here. Hookups for that are right next door, including your booster right there. Underneath, you will see these audio video jacks. These RCA cables are run to your multimedia center right here, which controls the speakers inside and outside and is also a DVD player, hence the RCA jacks there, so they can plug into the TV. Little bit of storage underneath. I'll open one of these up just to kind of show you there. Fuse panel right underneath that will have both your breakers and your fuses. Up top, you'll see some additional storage here. Last thing I do want to touch on is the ceiling itself. You do have two speakers, as I mentioned, right up top here. And then you have ducted AC unit as well. And that does have a quick dump option, so you can just push that open and have the majority of your AC right here, which is great when you are loading or unloading your RV. When you step into the bathroom, you'll actually notice it is quite large here in the 286. Right down in the corner is your foot flush lever toilet. Plenty of room both for your legs as well as to the sides. And then right up front here is your sink. You'll see a little bit of countertop space on either side there, but it is a fairly large sink, so it's great for, you know, you have enough room to wash your hands quite easily as well as brush your teeth. Electrical outlet over to the side. Big storage underneath. The reason I like this is it's big enough you can sneak a trash can in there if you want. You'll also see you have a mirrored medicine cabinet right up top with storage behind that. Here in the corner is the Neo-Angle shower. I'll step in here to give you an idea. Again, folks, I'm six foot. You see I have a couple inches here until the ceiling. So even if you're six two, you can probably still shower in here without having to bend down. And then you also have the hand wand there just to make showering a little bit easier. Right over to this side, you have the big linen closet too. I certainly appreciate this. Uh, you know, you have the uh, shelf both in the top as well as right there in the bottom and two drawers here in between. On the wall right in the back is your robe hook, so a good place to hang some towels, and then your vent fan is right up top. It is also worth mentioning you do have an AC duct in here as well as a heat duct, so that way, whether it's warm or cold out, you can stay nice and comfortable in the bathroom. The bedroom of the 286 has a queen bed right here in the center. It does lift up, so you have storage there underneath. And then on both sides of the bed, you will see you have big nightstands with drawers. You also have electrical outlets and dual USB ports on both sides. Right up above is your mirrored wardrobe, and then you have the shelf going across the center. Windows on both sides, right up top is your skylight. It is worth noting this one is prepped for a second AC, meaning it'll have 50 amp service already built in. Right over here is a mounting uh, location. If you want a TV in the bedroom, the connections for that are right up on the ceiling. Now that we've seen the inside, let's take a look at some of the outside features on the Coleman Lantern 286RK. Right up front here is a power tongue jack. This makes it a lot easier to hook up and disconnect from your tow vehicle. Rather than having to manually crank it, you just flip the switch here to raise and lower the tongue. Then you also have a light right up front, which you can turn on for some added visibility at night. You also see this cap right here. You can undo that cap. That way you're not stuck. That is a way to manually override the power tongue jack so you can still move it up and down even if the motor does burn out, which again is very, very rare. Right behind that, you have two 20-pound propane tanks with the cover. And then a little bit further behind that, you will see rails for your battery. Coming up the front here is diamond etch plating to help protect the front end from some of the rocks and debris that may get thrown up by your tow vehicle. You'll see that sticker right there that shows this one does have a three-year structural warranty on there, which is currently the best in the industry. Right around on the side is solar prep. If you plan to do some boondocking, going somewhere where you don't have shore power, maybe you want to uh, help trickle charge your battery, all you have to do is buy portable panels, plug it in right there. Those panels generally have a controller built into them, and that will, uh, like I said, trickle charge your battery. 
And then right here is the pass-through. One of the things I love about a Coleman Lantern is you have a huge pass-through. It's the same size door on both sides there, so no matter what you put in here on this side, you can grab it from the other side. And the openings are big enough. You can put in some of your larger chairs as well as grills. You'll also notice it's magnetic, so that way you don't have any plastic clips or anything that are going to break off if you forget and try to slam it down. Not only do you have a power tongue jack, you also have power stabilizer jacks on here. This control right here controls the front two. There's another one in the back to control the rear two. Just always bear in mind, folks, these are just stabilizer jacks. They're not levelers. You'll still want to have your RV leveled out, but you will use these. Just push a button. They will drop right down to stabilize the RV so it's not rocking all over when you're walking inside. You'll see a power awning on here. Touch button to roll that out. Same thing to have it go right back in. It also has an LED light strip there so you have light at night. And then you'll have two outside speakers which are controlled by that multimedia center inside but that unit is Bluetooth capable so you can sit out here and connect to it with your smartphone. Solid steps. This is an awesome step system if you haven't seen these before. You know I'm over 200 pounds. I can jump up and down on here and as you see the steps don't flex. So if, you know, if you're sick of having the normal foldable steps where you feel like you're going to fall, they're really wobbly and bouncy as you're coming up and out of the camper, you don't have to worry about it here with a solid step system. Also has aluminum treads which aren't going to rust and then some grip tape on there as well. Uh, you do have the grab handle right here, but honestly you probably won't really be able to use it until you're about the second or third step up. Uh, so just make sure you are being careful when entering or exiting the RV. You'll also see you have an electrical outlet right there, nice and easy to plug anything in. A little bit further back here is your fresh tank fill. Again, if you're going somewhere you don't have city water, you're more than likely going to want some water in your fresh tank or else you're not going to have any. So that'll be the place you fill it up right there. This is something that's a little bit more of an oddity. This is your outside shower with both hot and cold water access. Generally, it's on the off door side. Sometimes it's on the back, but I love having it on the door side because it's the easiest place to access it. Right back here, you will see that you have your control for your rear two stabilizer jacks. You, this one does come with a bumper with the end caps. You can pop those end caps off, gives you a spot in which you can store your sewer hose. And if you take a look right up top there, you'll notice this one also has backup camera prep. On the off door side is where you will attach your 50 amp power cord. As I mentioned, it is 50 amp because it's pre-wired for that second AC. City water inlet is directly underneath that. Over here to the side is a black tank flush, so that way after you're done dumping your tanks you can hook a hose up right here. The black tank has sprayers built in and it will wash out anything that is left behind. Speaking of, if we drop down and take a look, you'll see your termination here. You have your black tank valve right here, the gray right next to that. And also if you take a look underneath completely, you will see that you have a fully enclosed and insulated underbelly. Alright folks, that wraps it up. Again, this is a 2019 Coleman Lantern 286RK. If you're interested in this travel trailer and you'd like price and availability, simply click on the link in the description. Thanks again for watching. I'm Ian Baker, and let's go camping.